Warning, Viva La Rani is brought to you by the same guy who your girlfriend is messaging. This show is intended for real ones only. This show is not suitable for children or soft-ass adults. Now that we got that out of the way, wash your hands, drink responsibly, and as always, Viva La Rani. Hey, what did do, babies? You've at least heard that 50 times. Today is the 50th episode. I feel like 50 cent minus the bullets. I feel like, shit, I don't know, 50 piece chicken nuggets on the Super Bowl Sunday. I feel really good, baby. I feel like two quarters face up. I feel like a full two face, baby, two quarters. You know what I mean? And uh, with me is one half of that 50, and that's Joey Karate. Oh, what it do, baby? What it do, baby? It's really good, man. It's, just, it's a really good day to be here. I feel, I feel like I'm ready to get rich or die trying. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's that time. Oh yeah, we feel like power up in this bitch, daddy. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, let's Joey, go. It's good to have you, man. I mean, uh, fifty episodes. Thank you so much for anybody listening. We appreciate you. And uh, to another fifty, man. You know, I want to make it to hundred, past a hundred, but a hundred's a big milestone. Joey, fifty is a big milestone. Twenty five was a big milestone, and I'm only looking forward to the future. God willing. Yes, yeah, sir. I'm excited, man. Just to. Uh, I know I always say this, you know, to the fact that we got together all these many times to do this and all the times mm-hmm. and the, and the, and the, uh, the, just the moments that we created. That's uh, definitely something special and definitely something to be proud of. Yes, sir. Um, Joey, thank you, man. I couldn't do it without you. I know I say that all the time, but it is true. Um, wow. What an amazing uh, accomplishment for us 50 years. And, um, man, wow. So many guests. Uh, some of them didn't come out, but we had RDZ, right? Zay, um, Symmetry was on, um, Jay, Aaron, uh, big player Jay we had on multiple times, but <laughs> multiple times they fucked up on us, uh, right. but we're only getting better, we're only getting better, and, uh, uh, Alley Cat hit me up, we, we got together the other day, Karate Me and that old Alley Cat, uh, that old, <laughs> and, uh, she said she wants to be on here, man, so, um, she just got to find the time and the place. So, um, yeah, it'd be exciting, man. It would be exciting. Yeah, definitely. That's definitely something to look forward to for sure. Definitely be be awesome time. Yeah. Uh, Karate, would you ever switch to video camera? Would you ever switch to video? Sure, I'd be down for that. Yeah. I'd be down for that. She was asking me about it. She was like, how come y'all don't do y'all's faces? And it's like, ah, well, because it's not a podcast anymore. Right at that at that moment, we're a show. At that moment, we're more than a po- like people call like Joe Rogan calling himself a podcast. At uh, that's not true, right? Because now you're doing a video. A podcast was uh, a radio station. I feel like on the internet, right? Right. I feel like you could be you have your own platform, uh, and that's what we're doing here. Where you have a podcast with no faces and. Um, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. That's where I wanted to start. Um, of course, times are changing and people want your face on there. And that's a TV show. That's I mean, not a TV show. That's a show now. Um, so it's not really podcasting, if you would. Um, I know in its sincerest form, it technically is karate. But uh, we've been doing it the old school way, did it the OG way. And uh, we'll see. We'll see, man definitely see most definitely most definitely yeah that's what i always uh thought of as podcast was back it was just straight audio yeah. only place you could find them was like spotify yep. and and the you know the different outlets like that but yeah. I, for sure for sure for sure yeah i'm very proud of us man i can't believe it oh oh my god we had a uh, steve-o on all the time uh couldn't forget about steve but big shout out big shout out to anybody over there thank you to broken color you heard her song at least 50 times thank you for the entrance music you heard my cousin benny's voice at least at least 50 times thinking of my cousin benny all is good on that side i hope god bless y'all um thank you short dreamer 50 times with short dreamer man golly a lot of people play that back to me karate you know that Bring one two three and all rise on me they yes, love sir. it they love it so, so well put together <laughs> so well put together yeah you're a genius for that to just start it at the ring that's perfect um and their genius is in their own lane thank you so much guys i couldn't do it without any of y'all man you know it just wouldn't be the same without broken color wouldn't be the same without my cousin benny's voice in the beginning and it wouldn't be the same without sweet dreamer at the end man 
So thank you all. Um, you know, Karate, I've been thinking about changing uh, uh, what my cousin Benny says, right? But then it's like, I don't know. It's still relevant, right? You still got to wash your hands. You still got to uh, do everything that he says to do in the beginning. Uh, if you're still a pussy, you still shouldn't be listening to the show, right? And uh, I love it, baby. You know, I, when I when I wrote that for him, um, he just delivered it. And I think he delivered it perfect. You know, he had a youthful voice. I wanted a youthful voice to do it. Um, it's very cool, man, to look back on, on when we first started this. And you said you were able to help me. And uh, I still remember it like it was yesterday, Karate. You know what I mean? Yes, sir, for sure. Getting together at that old the Studio 32. And now look at us, man. In a way better place, thank God. Yeah, I love it, man. I love how just uh, just the creativeness that we, that you have over it. You know what I mean? Your yeah. ideas to try to make those come to life. Uh, and I I take joy in that. You know what I mean? Thanks, a lot. Joe. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, man. Um, well, shit, everything is 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 your touch as well, man. From the the VHS tape to the uh, background, the eighties background, right? We love the eighties on <laughs> yeah. this show, Daddy. You know, and um, yeah. Speaking of the 80s, Karate, um, one day hopefully we'll have 80 episodes or more. Um, but the 80s uh, brought, 1982, I believe, I looked it up. That was the year The Thing came out, the, the movie The Thing, Karate. Have you ever seen The Thing? I have, I have. By John Carpenter? Right, uh, Kurt Russell, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The OG one? Yeah. yeah, man. I watched it just the other day with uh, Steve, he recommended it. Um, and, and what was really the pushing point for me, uh, I, I've I've heard about that movie plenty of times. I know it's a good movie. I just never got around to watch it, and um, finally I watched it because of the guy who voices Darth Maul. I forgot his name, and that disrespectful. And I apologize. Um, but he was talking about the thing is one of the greatest movies of all time. So of course, when somebody says that, I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna watch it. I I I, I, I consider myself a a film connoisseur, right? A movie enthusiast, right? Um. And me and RDZ were having an argument the other day about that karate. I said, motherfuckers actually ask me, Ronnie, what's the score? Right? They'll be like, hey, what's the score? Or they'll message me, hey, I know you've seen that movie came out, this movie came out, have you seen it? Talk to me about it. Right? People look forward to that. They don't go, they actually don't go if it's a bad movie. Um, I forgot what movie I gave, like a 4 1 or a 6 1. I forgot what it was. And people, they were like, oh, well, I'm not going to go watch it. Can't watch it. So I got to be careful. I don't want people not to go see the movies, but I'm never going to lie. Right. Um, if it sucks, it sucks. Oh, uh, I think it was fucking Jurassic Park. I was about to say Jurassic Park. Yeah, but that's Jurassic funny. World, that's I was funny. like, Jurassic World, I was like, God, that was ass. Yeah, that was tough. That's right. Yeah, like four people, four or five people hit me up there like, Ronnie, I can't, can't do it. I was like, yeah, it's, it's not good. It's not good. But I always tell them, go check it out for yourself, man. Maybe I'm wrong. Um. But I'm usually spot on. I, I take pride in that, Karate. You know what I mean? I take pride in for sure knowing movies. But um, I gave John Carpenter's The Thing a 9-1. I think it's uh, tremendous. It had me guessing the whole time. You don't know who's who in that movie. No spoilers for me. But um, it's about an alien uh, that came around a long time ago, landed. And uh, these guys, these Norwegians, I believe. Norwegians? Yeah. I think they uncover it. And uh, it can transform into anything. So, um, for the most part, anything. And so, uh, it starts off there and it ends in a great way where I think something happens. Um, we'll talk about it off-air karate, but um, I really want people to watch that movie. That's a great movie. Is it one of the best? Yeah, I guess so, technically. It's top 100, and I'll put it up there. Uh Karate, what are your thoughts on that movie, man? You liked it? Yeah, I really liked it. You know, as a fan of horror movies, man, that was definitely one of them that was super crazy, like you said. Just, um, just a lot of twists and turns. And it, it, I think that one uh, definitely set the bar for other horror movies to come, man. It was just definitely definitely going to be a staple in that, uh, that category. Yeah, and it's good to see a movie without too much CGI or like with none, right? Well, I don't think it was a thing back then. Yeah, for sure. But, um... The prosthetics is real, and everything's real, and the sounds it makes, and um, yeah, it's an interesting movie. I highly suggest you go watch it. Um, shout out Steve for putting me on that movie daddy, finally watching it, and shout out to uh, old boy that does the voice of uh, Darth Maul. 
because he's the one that was like, man, it's the greatest, one of the greatest movies. So I said, got to watch it. You say it's one of the greatest movies. I'm in there, baby. Um, moving on, baby. You know, here's uh, the orange thing got arrested uh, about yesterday or two days ago. Yesterday, I think. Donald Trump got arrested for karate. You know what I mean? Your former president. <laughs> I thought that was a fantastic four reference. <laughs> this guy. I was like, "What?" <laughs> nah, man. The orange thing, man. The orange that make man. America great again thing. You know. And uh, yeah, he got arrested, man. They booked him. They took his fingerprints, and he went to court yesterday. And now they're saying none of the charges could maybe stick, but he's been charged. Uh, with 34 counts um, of, I don't know what. It's crazy, right? Like 136 yeah. years or something he's yeah. convicted? Yeah. So he better pray to God that his money and his privilege can get him out of this one because uh, we'll see. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that, Karate? The first time a president's ever been arrested like that. It's nuts. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, I feel like uh, I would think that they have all their stuff in line to do this. Otherwise, why well, pursue that and and uh, look dumb, you know, if, if it wasn't all. Yeah. It wasn't all aligned correctly, but man, like you said, hey, we'll see what happens, right? Yeah, you never know. The rich get away with a lot of shit, man. Right. Um, so we'll see. Um, I was at work yesterday. I was watching it. Uh, you know, my manager came up and he was like, hey, man, you can't, can't be watching stuff. And then he saw what I was watching and he was like, damn, I can't can't knock you for that that's a <laughs> it's gonna be an iconic moment you know our kids are gonna talk about that whether he gets convicted or not they're gonna talk about it they're like damn it's the only president to ever get arrested like that right that's huge yeah that's crazy that's huge this is a, that was a landmark uh historical moment you know karate and i love history man i love history and i love when we make history you know whether good or bad it's it's all it's what's gonna make us in the future it's for the learning yeah for, for sure. sure yeah and uh, he looked scared as shit yesterday as he should be man because you don't know what's out there man you don't know what's out there and i'm sure he's gonna be like fucking good fellas where they're cooking up steaks and shit now i'm <laughs> yeah. sure he's gonna be just fine but it's the principle he's gonna get locked up man super stuff super tough um, but yeah, that's what happens, man. That's what happens when you do the crime, you do the time. As that's well. tough. Anybody can get it. That's to hey yo, <laughs> that's tough though, karate. <laughs> yeah, that's tough. Yeah, he didn't look too high and mighty yesterday, boy. He looked real humbled while he was in that building, daddy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but yeah, he's out already, and uh, he's out and about in Florida, and uh, hopefully he don't start no shit, man, because he is a piece of shit. Uh, he started the riots in January 6th, whether you want to admit it or not. He gave him the green light, and he was like, hey, I'll be right behind you. Let's do yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, let's take the country back. Get the fuck out of here. That's you're a fucking loser. Need. Yeah, you're a fucking loser, man. You're a fucking bum. And I hope both sides see that, man, and I hope we can unify from this and not divide ourselves. But I'm sure it's going to be the other way. I'm sure a lot of people are going to want to fight for his freedom. Fuck out of here. Right, yeah. Yeah. He's a bum and he doesn't deserve any more publicity. I actually spoke to somebody who's big on heavily it. for that, right? And yeah. I was like, I just want to say, you know, I'd I'd be trolling, yeah. right? Just for to troll. But uh, I said, you know, if if he gets I said all these counts and if they get convicted, <laughs> I said, Would you accept it? And they said no. Yeah. Probably not. And I'm yeah. like, Yeah. Yeah. That's tough. They're too far gone. Yeah. Those people and they dick ride them so crazy. It's like, bro, stop. I had to use a line from uh, the disrespecter. I said, "Take your tin foil hat off." Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Not everything's a conspiracy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now look, listen. Do I think it's an OJ situation where he killed somebody allegedly and he got away with it, and then they got him for stealing his memorabilia? Of course. This this could very much be that. Yeah. This could very much be that we couldn't get him on the January six shit. Man, so any little bullshit he slipped up on and gave Stormy Daniels allegedly the hush money, um, then yeah, they're gonna get him. They're gonna get him. So we'll see, man. We'll see. And if not, I mean, fuck. We've known this for a long time. The just the, the uh, what is it? The uh, what system is that karate? And it, no, it's not judicial. I was about to say judicial. Uh, I don't know, but you know, it's all fucked. It's corrupt. Yeah, yeah. yeah people yeah. have been saying that shit for years. 
Or maybe it is the judicial system. The criminal system. I don't know what it is. You know what it is. Yeah. What's understood doesn't need to be explained. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, uh, Karate, this past week, um, I went to go see the CMT Awards. I was at a recording. Um, shout out Hector the Disrespected for the tickets. Um, we got to see Tyler Hubbard, Keith Urban, um, Kane, Caitlin Brown, and Kane Brown, and the great Carrie Underwood. It was a tremendous time, Karate. Um, yeah, your boy, if you if you pause the Tyler Hubbard video from the CMT Awards, uh, you will see your boy slow it down. And uh, every time they look in the crowd, you can see your boy right there. I'm going to have to do that. I'm yeah. Have to do that bro. Yeah, it's awesome. a lot of fun, karate. How, how was the atmosphere there, man? Everybody's just having a good time. Yeah, for the most part. Yeah, for the most part. Of course, you know, there was two cutters, two little, two, two young girls. And uh, they were cutting in front. I think they were like college girls. And they're cutting in front of everybody that was already there, right? And we haven't moved for like three hours. And they just barged their way to the front. And then, of course, people are going to have problems with that. And they're like, you better get your ass back in the fucking line. Or you better get the fuck back there. Then we don't want you up here. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. But after a while, everyone cool. Calm heads prevailed. There you go. And, uh, yeah, no big deal. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, for and sure. That's awesome. It was a great time. Uh, Keith Urban. Uh, he said, I know I'm probably going to get in trouble, but I cannot go on without singing this song. He starts singing Blue Ain't Your Color. Blue looks good on the sky. Damn. And the crowd went crazy. Right? Damn. Your boy was going crazy too, man. I love when people break the rules. And uh, he's Keith Urban. He gets to do whatever the fuck he wants, man. And uh, my only complaint about uh, Carrie Underwood karate is she looked timid. She's been doing it for fucking 20 plus years. Right. You should be used to the fame and all that. Um, and she, it, it got quiet because it's a recording. So you, you're there and they do the song about three times and they do different positions. No homo of, uh, you know, the camera angles and stuff. And um, uh, yeah, she's just standing there and she goes, I always feel awkward in these situations. It's like, girl, stop. <laughs> yeah. You're a fucking superstar. Daddy, chill. Yeah. And then I was like, maybe she's being humble, but nah, the more I think about it, the more. It's <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. she's a fucking plant. They fucking got her in there <laughs> now. But uh, yeah, shout out. Carrie Underwood's still tremendous. I love her to, that, to death. And uh, yeah, it was great. Thank you, Kar uh, Karate. Thank you, Hector, disrespect for the tickets, man. Uh, what a great time. And then Saturday, Karate, we went to go see the Texas Rangers at the new stadium. It was a fucking great time. The ride up there was tremendous, and the ride back was fun, too. Um, so we got the, to the to the stadium, Karate. If I could fast forward a little bit. We got to the stadium, and we're looking for parking. I, I got tickets for Lot B, which cost me $123, right? So I'm like, fuck, I, I got I to gotta park right here. I have to. Right. I spent all this fucking money, so I got to park here. And so we're looking for it. There's traffic everywhere. Um, there's people. There's foot traffic everywhere. There's hell of a show. These though, karate. They were going to the Taylor Swift concert that same day. That there was. Oh right? yeah, a lot of skirts, a lot of uh, a lot of flirts. You know what it is. Oh yeah, a lot of a lot of that. And uh, it was a beautiful time. And uh, um, so we're driving around. Right, karate. I'm trying to trying to stay focused. I'm trying to stay focused. I can't can't be looking around like that. Yeah, no. And there's um, a lot to look around. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. But um it's me, you, Steve O, uh Big Play Shay and uh, Kitty, right? So we're all there and we're driving around and then finally so I'm looking for the tickets. I'm looking for the tickets because they're not sent to me. For some reason, they just never arrived. So I called the, the Vivid Seeds people. And I'm like, hey, you know, help your boy out, blah, blah, blah. And so then they show me to this fucking automatic uh, voice person. And it's a robot. And I'm like, fuck. But they were very helpful. That robot thing was very helpful. Um, got me to the tickets last minute karate i mean literally the last second we pull up to lot b and the guy's like well if you don't have your tickets i can't help you somehow i downloaded them got them boom let me let us in we park steve-o loses his wallet at the gas station 136 miles back um so then uh steve's a little upset we get there though uh we're watching the game uh downtown rob we meet up with downtown rob his two nephews 
and um, all the boys are there. It's a beautiful, beautiful stadium. I, I prefer the old stadium. But we absolutely fucking destroyed the Phillies, and that's all that's important. I mean, we could have played in a fucking backyard, a fucking broke down field, and I would have loved the fucking game. Karate, what did you think about the game and the experience and all that? I think everything. It was just, it was just a whole. It was just, man, it was just such a great time from the, yeah. like you said, from the ride over there, yeah, to the problems that we had with the with the parking, bro. Because yeah. it didn't work, but when it was supposed to work, it did. Amen. Yeah, and that's crazy. But yeah, man, it was just a super good time. I mean, it, just to watch that field, just to to be there with 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 greatness, I think was awesome. For sure, such a good time. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Still just sneaking into the fridge like a thief in the night. Um, but yeah, man, we had a great time. It was tremendous. I I wouldn't do it any other way. Um, anyways, we're we're back going back home, Karate. And we got mad at Kitty because we ate McDonald's. And then she's like, oh, man, a golden chick. And we haven't had golden chicken in a long time, all of us. Um, they closed the one here, so we're fucking infuriated. We're like, what the fuck? Why did you tell us that? She's like, well, I didn't know. And I'm like, God damn it, because now we want golden chick. So on the way home, we finally hit up golden chick. Um, and uh, get Steve Walt's wallet. Thank God somebody was nice enough and and uh you know uh had a good heart and t didn't take shit from his wallet and uh left it in the in the in the uh in the uh gas station so shout out to that person man um yeah that's great you know it's 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 rare to see that nowadays karate right people doing the right thing yeah for real man it's just if you add the little problems that yeah. happen even along the way everything really got fixed yeah yeah for sure at the end of the day you know and that's for sure. awesome yeah yeah thank people for having a good heart out there man because there's some people that don't they could have just yeah. made off with that or did some crazy stuff they easily didn't. yeah for sure for sure and, they and it is tough times karate so i wouldn't blame them if they stole money or shit you know right yeah yeah but thank god everything worked out um yeah thank you god um the car was giving us uh, well, it didn't give us problems, thank God. But it, 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 um, we got to, so I got the oil changed the day before, and then the guy was like, "Hey, you need a d different screw. This one's um, old and stuff, but we got it tightened up on you, and you're good." So and he was like, "The next time you get your oil changed, though, I suggest you get that under, under the bolt." Cool. So we, I bought them the next day. I thought all you had to do was just take it off and then get the screw back in, the new screw. No, that wasn't the case. They said they would have to redo everything if they did it. Um, so we were like, okay, fuck it. Because it was leaking a little bit. Uh, dripping. It was dripping oil, not really leaking. Uh, but thank God it didn't give us no problems karate to and from. And uh, we made it home safely, thank God. And it was a great time. I, like I said, I wouldn't do it any other way. I wouldn't do it any other way. We had a great time. Everything happens for a reason. And I, and I think all that shit that happened was supposed to happen, Karate. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. It, it was. Yeah, it was just a super good time. Yeah. I, I want to say it, but I don't. Uh oh. It was like a movie. Yeah, it was. It was. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just, yeah. Just the events and everything. Yeah. We, we, damn, we were pretty much all together for like. Maybe like 13 hours plus, yeah. right? Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah, no problems between us, no anger, nothing. Just having no, fun, we were man. chilling, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Good time. For sure. Um, yeah, it was a great time. O only anger was when we passed the golden chick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're like, damn, man. Because we, cause we passed like fucking 14, 15 golden chicks, no cap. There was like right. at least nine. I was like, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> And we we've been wanting that for a long time, but um, God works it all out, and of course we made it. Karate, moving on, Daddy. I got a lot of trailers that I watched. Um, I've seen the Blue Beetle trailer from DC. Tremendous. Let's go. Um, it's so cool to see a Latino uh, superhero lead. We haven't had that really since Miles Morales, and um, wow. It's 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 amazing. It's amazing. I I love it. I love to see the representation of our people, Karate. And the Blue Beetle is is fucking sick. And George Lopez is his deal. <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to that movie. Let's go. And I was nervous, Karate. I didn't know if they were gonna allow 
Blue Beetle to happen because of the new DCU and the revamp and everything. And I didn't know if he was going to have space. And, of course, James Gunn said, yeah, don't trip. He's going to be in there, Daddy. You know, we got the Blue Beetle in there. He's a huge part. And uh, hopefully I'm really looking forward to that, Karate. You know what I mean? Yeah, like maybe they could have maybe postponed it, right, or something like that. With yeah. The but that's cool. That's yes, cool sir. They're doing that, man. I'm definitely going to check it out the latino heritage is all over the place spider-man across the spider-verse trailer came out miguel o'hara's there uh, another representation of uh, he's spider-man 2099 for the latinos especially especially the mexican community um god i mean come on baby you know what more do you want daddy um no spoiler from me karate have you seen it I haven't okay no spoiler from me uh but you have to watch that. That's a great fucking trailer. Man. The first Spider-Man across, you know, into the Spider-Verse was tremendous. Um, God, I, I loved it. I loved Miles Morales representing us, and now we get Miguel O'Hara, uh, who is a, a Mexican, and uh, I'm really looking forward to that. And what a great suit! Look at that red and blue suit, Karate. Yeah, I mean, come sick. on, is he the sickest fucking Spider-Man suit of all time? That's super sick. It's up there. Um, of course, Guardians of the Galaxy now out. Um, uh, that's going to be showing on Cinco de Mayo, and that's not Mexican Independence Day for you morons out there. That would be the SC says this September. Mm -hmm. But um, the Galaxy Guardians of the Galaxy uh, is going to be out Cinco de Mayo. I'm really looking forward to that. Cinco de Drink, or the white people call it. Um, man, we're going to be having a fun time to see you that day. Um, this is the last installment of Guardians of the Galaxy. Karate, do you have anything to say about those so far? Uh, uh, all of them sound great, and I'm excited for them to come out and be, and be able to have the chance to watch them because yeah. they're definitely going to be changing it up. You know, definitely, yeah. I think they're going to be uh, impactful movies of the year. For right? sure. At least some of them, for sure. Yeah, and I hope they're good for the culture, Karate, man. For Most sure. definitely. Yes, sir. Big shout out. Dude. Big shout out. We, I, I know I've been waiting a long time for... Um, for a Latino superhero, so um, at least on the big screen, right? Yeah. Um, of course, we have always had like fucking Tobey Maguire, Spider Man, but you know, you, you that, that's why the black community got so fucking excited for. Uh, excuse me, excuse me, oh excuse me, Black Panther, right? For Chadwick Boseman's portrayal of it, because they saw themselves finally. They were like, "Holy shit, we are right." We we finally made it to the big screen, and then. Seeing Amor in the second one, I got that same feeling, man. I feel like I felt so much pride in seeing the culture um, on the big screen on such a big movie. I felt um, I don't know honored. I guess in a real in a way, in a way, like I was like, damn, that's love, you know, because they did him good, man. Yeah, they really did. And um, he's a great villain, and then I I, I hope. Uh, well, in that movie, he was a villain, but he's really like a um, anti-hero. He's a wobbler. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. Uh, he's back and forth, but I'm really looking forward to it. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. And, yeah, for uh, sure. And and what's crazy how you say that? How Black Panther, pull, you know, did that for, for the game, yeah. and then to have him in in the another impactful movie, you know, yeah, and to be even more impactful because, like you said, Latino is a representation yep. as a super as a hero. That's cool. Yeah, That's for sure. Cool. Fucking a, and and technically he's the first mutant that we see on screen. They made him a mutant. So. Oh right. So uh, yeah, really looking forward to that. Hey, uh, and and this is what they called our people uh, back in the day. Uh, you know the invaders, the invasions. Right? They called us. We invaded America, even though we've been here forever. But uh, <laughs> the new trailer for Secret Invasion is out, Daddy, and uh, it looks tremendous. Um, Nick Fury is finally back, and um, it's a movie about the scrolls. And who are they? And it, again, it's going to be one of those who's who. Are they a scroll? Are they not a scroll? Um, but anyways, the show looks tremendous, and it's coming out soon, God willing. Uh, Karate, what are your thoughts on Secret Invasion? That's uh, I'm, man, I'm super excited. I saw the uh, trailer. I guess the very first yeah. one that came out, but man, I didn't know there was a second of uh, the newest yeah. one. So I'm definitely gonna have to check that out. But man, I'm super excited. Have the scrolls already been introduced? In a, in yeah, a for sure. They've been in Captain Marvel. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, Dang, Captain Marvel. I don't remember. I have to go back and check it out. And the end of No Way Home. Uh, uh, excuse me, of uh, Far From Home. There and there as well. Damn. Yeah. And I'm sleeping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to check him out. Talos, uh, he's in there, and he's tremendous. Um, I'm looking forward to all of it. All of it, man. I, get, I, I guess this is going to be the year of the superhero karate or something, man. I feel it. Uh, and I hope it, 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 um, they come back strong because... Lately, Marvel been slacking. Hey, I'm a Marvel fan. I'm a Marvel. Uh, I'm, I'm an MCU fan, but I call it like I see it. Um, the movies have sucked lately. Um, Ant Man and Wasp mid 
uh, uh, Dr. Strange to the Multiverse of Madness was bad. I don't like it. Um, so, you know, the past few movies haven't been great. Uh, hopefully, Guardians of the Galaxy can turn that around for them. And I'm really looking forward to it. But DCU, watch out, baby. They're, they're coming back, Daddy. They're making a comeback. James Gunn, I trust them. And I know what he. I know that he knows what he's doing. So I'm really looking forward to the future of DC, brother. For sure. Most definitely excited, man. It's hopefully with the comeback seasons, right? Let's yeah. I'd love to see it. Yep. Karate, I've always said it, too. I've always said that DC, the only area they lack is in the movies. Everything else is they're just better than Marvel. They really are. Yeah, I was watching some DC uh, movies the other day. You know, what I mean? like the Green Lantern and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, super good. Oh yeah. Um, karate. Moving on. Staying on Disney though. Moving on though. Uh, live action Moana was was. Uh, 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 they they said that it was going to happen, and uh, I'm looking forward to this one the most. Lilo and Stitch. They already casted Lilo, and um, yeah, they already casted Lilo. Let's see if I have her name on here. The young lady. Um, her name. Oh, I, okay. I'm going to try it. Is Maya K. Aloha. Uh, she's been cast as Lilo in the upcoming live action rem rendition of uh, Lilo and Stitch, baby. So, congratulations. Awesome. Um, that's a huge, huge role. And she don't even know it. But, uh, yeah. That's going to be sick, man. That's going to be sick. I hope... Of course, Stitch is gonna look bad. I'm, I'm gonna call it out. <laughs> uh, I think I think Stitch is gonna look bad, but um, I hope they do it right. You know, it's a great movie. It's my one of my. It's my sister's favorite Disney movie. I think besides Lion King. So I know she's really looking forward to that. Yeah, for sure. We'll see, man. Yeah, I definitely. For wish, sure. wish prosperity upon all these movies. You know. Yeah, Hopefully yeah. Good. At least. For sure. I'm, I'm not a big fan of Moana. I think it was all right. <laughs> yeah. I think it's overrated. But The Rock is gonna be Maui. And uh, in the live action, so we'll see, man. All those are gonna come to light, hopefully. And uh, yeah, but still, nothing but success to them, and I hope it's good. I want the movies to prevail always, for sure. Um, Karate, I don't know if you saw this. Hadouk, a new live action Street Fighter has been announced. A new live action Street Fighter baby movie is in the works. That's brought to you by IGN. Karate, what are your thoughts on that, man? <laughs> Y'all can't see him. My mouth dropped right now. I yeah. put that thing right back up off the ground. For yeah, real? Yeah. A new, another oh, Street yeah. Fighter? Oh, yeah. Man, Live action. Let's go. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for that. I wonder who they cast in for that, right? Yeah. Uh, ain't that uh, uh, Chun Li? Ain't that her name? Mm hmm. Old Batty? Yeah. She, hey, she better be caked up. Respectfully. That's all <laughs> yeah. I know. They better do them right. Uh huh. Wow. <laughs> Let's go. That's pretty cool, man. That's interesting. Hopefully, like we say, hey, hopefully that one goes through and it's, it's a banger, you know? For sure. That's all. It's always good to see a, a nice uh, video game movie. Yeah. And, I, and like we say, we're saying, I hope it's, 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 it's done correctly. I hope they get actors um, who are actually Asian. They have been. Uh, you know, I don't think they can be fucking racist anymore, but. Um, they have been, which is good, right? But Latinos need to play Latinos. Black people need to play black people. Uh, white people need to play white people. Right. You know, and 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 uh, I've been saying it forever. Like Richie Valens, the fucking La Bamba. Uh, Lou Diamond Phillips is uh, Native American. Technically, we're Native Americans as well, but we should have got a Mexican to play of Richie Valens. But anyways, man, you know, Richie Valenzuela, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I don't know. He did a good job, right? Yeah. And, and those were different times back then. But fuck, man, when 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 Mexicans are are in a movie, I want us to be Mexicans, you know. But again, I'm gonna sound hypocritical. I know I just said this, right? And I'm going back on it. Nacho Libre, that was done correctly. Jack Black was a tremendous Mexican, <laughs> yeah. right? When you do it correctly, it's 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 a shout out. So Richie Valens, you know, Lou Diamond Phillips played him good, but. Fuck, it's La Bamba. Like, that should have been a Latino, I feel like. Yeah, you know because what I mean? it's history. Correct. It's not a made-up story. Correct. There. Thank you. Thank you, Karate. And Will Ferrell played a Mexican, too, one time, and I didn't have no problem with it. You know, it's good. Um, Yeah. Sheesh. But anyway, shout out. Big, Big shout, shout out. out. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, karate, um, all I have left is it's Holy Week. Um, Good Friday is going to be this Friday. Si Dios quiere. Um, Easter's coming up. Karate, what do you have planned for Easter, brother? Uh, well, Easter Day is actually my mom's B-Day. Sheesh, shout so out. Big shout out. 
and I'm gonna be grilling up a special special dinner for her. You know, so she asked for something. She, asked, she what she asked. She for. wanted a nice steak. So what? Some New York strip steaks. Got to. I'm gonna go ahead and do some a nice loaded baked potato. What? Some nice grilled corn. What? And uh, and, and probably some other sides. I'm not sure. Hell but yeah, it's man. just gonna be a super good day, and you know it's Easter, so yeah, it's just all all together even even a more of a blessed day. So yep. Should be a pretty good time. And how about yourself? Are you going home with any family or anything? Well, I, I, I'm, I'm going to invite my family here. So you just get it to their new place. And hopefully they cook up a meal. My mom wants fried chicken. Um, I'm good on fried chicken. I, uh, I'm thinking maybe some barbecue. I'm thinking maybe some... I don't know. Let's get crazy. You know, I want some... Maybe a steak too, karate, you know? Heck yeah. Um, homemade sure. meals are always the best. I, li, li, listen... All I need is pork chops, mashed potatoes, and corn, and I'm a happy camper. Mm, you know what I mean? That sounds good to me. Yes, yeah, sir. Every birthday, my mom cooks that up for me. And, uh, yeah, Easter's always a good time. Si Dios quiere, it's always, uh, you know, we're celebrating the resurrection of Christ. And um, um, I'm really looking forward to that, man. I, I am a true believer of God. I believe he does so, so much for me. And even though I don't deserve it, I am grateful and I am thankful um, in that aspect, and um, damn, Lent is almost over. It's um, it's been forty days almost, karate. Time flies. Sheesh, it really does fly, man. Yeah, I don't go to church anymore, karate. I just don't like the vibe. Uh, I don't like the people there, and and I know it, it shouldn't bother me, but I don't. I don't like the people there. Um, I, I still believe in God. I thank Him every day I, when I need Him. When I don't need Him, I still thank Him. You know. Uh, what you should always need Jesus, but you know what I mean. You no, know, I what know I mean, karate. Yeah, you know, for sure, I, for sure. uh, not for favors. I'm thankful for him right. for anything. Right. Um. You know, I am a big believer in God. I can't help it. You know what I mean. Yes, sir. And uh, yeah, I don't regret it. I I love Christ, and even if they came out tomorrow and said, you know, there's no Jesus. Here's the proof. I'm still gonna believe in him. You know. Yes, sir. Most so, definitely. So big shout out. I'm not saying hey. Go worship him. No, I'm just saying, you know, what he does for me, man, and and all he's given me and taken away. It's it's truly, it's truly beautiful, and I thank him every day, baby. But um, yeah, Easter. I want to get a nice shirt. I love dressing up on Easter, karate. You know, whether we go to church or not, I love it. I love just looking nice on Easter, Daddy. I want to get a haircut too. That reminds me, I got to book an appointment. See you, let's get it. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. Karate, yeah, definitely. Uh, you're a man of amazing fashion, so so the type of <laughs> fit you're gonna have that day, yeah. you know. It, yeah. Definitely. Like maybe I can see some pastels on the maybe. horizon, you know. Uh huh. Um, I mean, it, I guess it's gonna be on which way the wind's blowing your hair at that yeah, time right. the mullet, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's all I can predict right now because it's really a wobbler, man. I, I don't. Yes, wanna, sir. I, I can't because what you're gonna come up with is gonna be crazy. So. I hope so, Karate. Yeah, I hope so, I don't let you down, Daddy. Nah, um, never, never. I, I, I am big on fashion. I do love fashion, but it's harder for for big guys like me, you know, Karate, to 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 fit into the the, the tiny shit that you know the little guys. And uh, listen, I'm going to get shit for this, but the little guys, you know, get to wear like the, the pants and I don't look good in skinny jeans. I'm, I'm too damn big. I don't look good in, in tight clothes like that. You know, I, I want to be comfortable. So I like the, the I like shirts and clothes that fit me. And, um, you know, ain't nothing wrong with that, daddy. I like I'm, I'm going to probably go get some new shoes. Um, I like bright colors. I love lavender, pink, uh, uh, lime green, uh, orange. I love it all, man. So, um. Uh, I'm gonna go see what I can do this week. Uh, oh, this week, see your skit, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that karate. Yeah, man, sure. definitely should be a good time. I, I could uh, expect the snaps to be rolling, right? Yes, sir. See your skit, yep. Very nice. Let's go. Yep. Uh, karate, you got anything else for me, brother? Uh, man, in a in a crazy twist of a story. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Uh, it's just random, but. So there, I think it was, man, I think it's Alabama or California or one place. Uh-huh. So this family has a pet goat. Okay. I think it was on sale for an auction. Right. Uh, the circus bought it. Sheesh. Uh, the little girl, it was her pet, so she really wanted it back. They didn't yeah. want to give it back. Yeah. Well, they were able to obtain it uh, through said ways. I guess they right. stole it or something. Right, like. right. They found out. They had to give the goat back. Yeah. And the circus barbecues it. Yeah. 
<laughs> what are your thoughts on that, Rod? They kill him, right? Yeah. Hey, listen, if, if I can't have it, you can't have it kind of shit. We just going to get rid of it all together. Sheesh. Yeah, that's tough. That's super tough. That's petty. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, that's super petty. <laughs> but, like, if her daughter was about it so much, why did they let <laughs> even put it to auction? Yeah. You know what I mean? That's unfortunate. Yeah. Well, well, they needed money, well, I'm I, sure. I was about to say, yeah, they probably needed the money. <sighs> <sighs> Fuck. But, yeah, you don't do that. You find a different way. Yeah. And, um, yikes. If I was a circus, yikes. I mean, listen. They're a bunch of assholes in there anyways, allegedly, right? They're yeah. fucking mean, so. They, uh, they probably thought, hey, we're going to leave here. We're never going to see him again. They're not going to know. Yeah. What if they send them snaps of them eating them? Yeah. What if they send them a plate? Yikes. Yikes, bro. But what if they cook them good? Well, hey, if they have good culinary skills. <laughs> 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 no, nah, that's crazy. No, nah, that's horrible. I, I ran across that, and I was like, <laughs> no way. That's super sad. That is super sad. Uh, hey, you gotta get one up on them, I guess. But fuck, <sighs> a little girl's yeah. Pay. How do you? Yeah, hopefully they didn't tell her that. You, know you wouldn't I mean? do that to boots, would you, no, correct? Most definitely not. That's your boy. Yeah, most definitely cannot. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I don't mess with him, <laughs> I don't yeah, mess with yeah. like that. I still can't do homie like that. Yeah. Is he getting more aggressive? How's how is he? He's good. Yeah, he, I think he knows like. When I need you to get the hell away from here, or when yeah. I need to get by, or something, because <laughs> yeah. I'll like, bro, get that, like, get out the way, bro. Yeah, and yeah, he'll move, yeah. and he'll like buck and like jump back and stuff. Yeah, and then, uh, but there are other times where like I'll do that, I'll go do something, and then I'll go up to him and I'll like, pen right, him, like, yeah, hey, like I just need you to move, right. I'm not just being mean to you for nothing, yeah, yeah, you know? like for a certain reason. So I think he gets that. Hopefully, he gets that. I don't know. Yeah, but he's cool. He's all right. How old's boots now? <laughs> That I don't know. That's a yeah. really good question because he, uh, he, my cousin gave him to us like what, like last year, right? Yeah. I, mean, I think he's like two, three. I think so. I was about to say five. Yeah, somewhere. I, I don't yeah. know. That's a good question. I, I, I have to find that out for you. Yeah, yeah. Be cool to check out. That's my guy. Yeah, you have a pet cool. goat. That's why we brought him up, right? Yeah, man. Yeah. He cool. He's a badass looking gold too. He's that right. black and white and gray. Yeah, one time we had uh, construction workers there and they're like, What's that? What kind of dog is that? He was far <laughs> away. <laughs> and he came up and they're like, Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. That's funny, bro. Yeah. That's good, man. Yeah. Is there a pet animal? I know we talked about this before, Karate, right? I want to show show Bill a uh, stork. Um, is there a certain animal you wish you would have? You know what? I like cats, right? But yeah, yeah. I mess with cats. Dogs are pretty cool. I mess with cats. Uh, there's a, a type of cat called a savannah cat. Okay. And that thing is about as big as like a beagle. Like it's super, oh. it's, it's a pretty good sized cat. Yeah. Like, it's not quite a lion, obviously, or like right. a tiger or a bobcat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's a pretty huge cat. And I think those those always look pretty cool. I think they reference those to like Egyptian times. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. So um, this one producer that I follow. He has like a big statue of like King Tut or something like that. Uh -huh. He has like cool pictures with the cat by it. It's, it's really cool. Sheesh. Yeah. Hell yeah. But I don't know how exotic those are and where they're at. You know? Right, right. But it's cool that he has one. I'm sure they're expensive as hell. I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure of it. I want a, um, a miniature German Shepherd or a dwarf. <laughs> I think they're called like dwarfism. They, like they have dwarfism or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's a little German Shepherd. Imagine how cute that little thing is. That'd be cool. I haven't never seen one. I'm going to have to look that up. I'm sure it's like a disease, right? I'm sure like they'll, <laughs> they'll probably pass away quickly. quickly. <laughs> yeah. But I want one, man. Imagine a little. You know, it comes out the corner or something. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I had a dream of a big dog that I had. Um, he's a big black dog, and he looks like a mastiff. And uh, I was like, oh, my God. I was so happy with him. I said, this is the best dog ever. Yeah. But mastiffs are fucking humongous, karate. I could never. Um, I could never. Did you ever hear this growing up? Like, if you had, I don't know where the hell I got this from, but it's always been in my, you know, them little facts that might be true, but they yeah, might yeah, not. Yeah. Um, was if you feed a dog growing up, like let's say you had the German Shepherd, if you okay. feed the German Shepherd when it's young, cat it, food, yeah. it stays small. Oh. <laughs> that's what I've always heard. Yeah. I don't know if that's fucking real. <laughs> <laughs> that might just be hella cap. That, wow. might be, that might be 1990 cap. You know what well, I mean? Yeah, yeah. But what, why would you do that? You would do that because maybe the hormones and shit in there, Yeah, they keep them little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Damn. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think we gotta look that up. Yeah. We gotta debunk that. For sure. She's that's weird, man. So I was taking care of my dog, uh, my sister's dog the other day, right? Right? I, I I said this on a podcast. Oh, we had we had the fucking little dog right here, and I was like, yeah, I'm, I want to take him to the river, and she was like, yeah, don't do that. She's aggressive. <laughs> it's like, well, fucking, hey, why do you have an aggressive dog? <laughs> Get her trained. Fucking teach her how not to be aggressive. That's hilarious. Yeah, that's fucking hilarious. Um. Karate man, I had a great week with you, dog. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. It was a phenomenal time, man. It always it was fun. Is. Saturday was fun. Really fun. I feel like we could have gone another, like we could have driven to California or something. No problem. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I feel like we had a great time. All those personalities in one car. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. My mom's looking into another car karate and she thinks about giving me that one. That would be very helpful. That'd be cool. Um, it's a son of a bitch to turn, though. Oh yeah, it's a son of a bitch to turn. It's hard to turn, but uh, it'll get your forearms bigger, Daddy. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Um, Karate, how long have we been going here? About a good forty-five. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, that's pretty good. Really I can't good, complain. Yeah. Um, like I said, we're so I'm so blessed to be able to give you all fifty episodes. I couldn't imagine this from from day one. Um, I, I'm lying. I could imagine it, Karate. I can't imagine. I can. Um, um, hopefully you've enjoyed us so far um, to another 50 man 100 is the goal and 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 past that but 100 it would be something else to hit 100 man and uh, we got a few surprises in stores um, if if alley cat comes on karate I want to do something you know what I mean I want to make that one special sounds good sounds good let's definitely do it um, thank you so much Joey karate thank you so much to all of my listeners all of our listeners, excuse me. Um, I hope we've entertained you so far, and I hope we continue to entertain you. Karate, you got anything else, brother? Man, just, uh, you know, stay positive. Yes. we got a lot of rest of the year going. Hopefully yes. you're reaching some of your goals or reaching some of y'all's milestones. Yes. And uh, let us know how that goes. Karate, we're a third of the way through the year already. Couldn't believe it. Really are. See, you're scared we continue to get better and better and better and better. we got to help. Um, with God's help, anything is possible, Daddy. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Um, God bless you. Make more more memories this year. Um, love who you love. Um, do what you do, Daddy. But make sure you're always happy, even in the darkest days. Make sure you can try to be happy. You can do it. You can do it, baby. You can do it. Keep your head up. That's what Tupac taught us, right? Keep your head up. Mm. Ooh, child. Things are going to get easier. Yes, sir. Um, I love each and every one of you. Thank you live from Studio 32. I'm Ronnie Z. It's your boy Joey Karate. And um, until next time, we'll see you real soon. Thank you, Broken Color, for the interview. Thank you, my cousin Benny, for the entrance uh, warning. And thank you to Soy Dreamer, Low Kiss S, Low Kiss O, Low Kiss Y, Capra D, Capra R, Capra E, Capra A, Capra M, Low Kiss R, Soy Dreamer. Go check him out. Link in the bio. I love each and every one of you. Episode 50. What a special time to be alive. I love each and every one of you. God bless you. And Joey, do me a favor. What's that? Take us out. Let's go. One, two, three, no rats on me. You don't know.